Hi guys, welcome to another session of Learning with Quantinosis Analysis Diary. My name is Arjit and today I'll talk about option calculator and how to use them together with technical analysis levels. If you are an absolute beginner or just getting started in stock market and learning things, I'd suggest checking out our other videos and to learn the basics first. For option calculators, so what it does, it's actually calculate the theoretical price of an option contract. So as the name theoretical, it suggests that means it's a possibility the actual trading price of the option could be a little different from the theoretical price in live market. While uh, the market uh, is in highly volatile there's a chance that the theoretical price may not match the real price but in general theoretic uh, this price can be taken as a standard price or a fair price that is supposed to be the price of that particular option contract on that particular day but you have seen uh, a black swan like event like initial hit of the covid that time index was trading 5-10% a day it was moving that big and in that time this kind of calculator may not work to get you a correct option price so the option calculator mostly use a method called a black souls method so black souls method what it does it uses a complex mathematical algorithm to calculate option grids and prices okay so to calculate the option price using this method you will need some of these data like you will you may need spot or future price of the underlying script you will need to know uh, the interest rate so for interest rate uh, for nifty you will be calculating using a 91 days treasury bill interest rate how do you get it? go to google and search for 91 days t will interest rate So this will give you what is the uh, percentage of the interest rate of 91 days treasury bill of RBI. So that will give you interest rate. And then you will need to know what's the dividend yield of the particular underlying script. So depending on the stock, the dividend yield will be different. You will ne also need to have number of days left to expiry to calculate the option price for that day. You will need implied volatility. You will need the underlying price you will need what is the strike price of the option and what is the type of option it's a call or put options so if you want to take a deep life what's the algorithm black souls uses you can check the wikipedia article called black souls model so it will give you details on the mathematical formula it uses underline but to actually use the calculator for option price determining you don't need to have those theoretical knowledge which is used by black souls model so why you will use a option calculator so sometimes we are know that in some option in some of the stock price we know whether it will buy or sell and then we have all the levels according to that uh, based on the technical analysis let's consider this stock ICIC bank so we know that this is the level above which there's a breakout so we know this level so let's say 382 is level where you're buying you know that entry now you want to buy a 400 C for that and then you want to determine what's the actual price you would be when the price is at 382 on Monday let's say you want to enter ICIC bank at 382 and you want to prepare beforehand what will be the price of 400 C so that price theoretical price you can calculate using option price so you can get your entry or let's say you have a stop loss in technical level on actual script so using that level you can use 
uh, what's the actual stop loss level in your option script or your option contract similarly for target you can find out what will be your let's say your theoretical target is somewhere here let's say your target is this 407 so what will be the target in your option contract the what will be the option price when it reaches 407 so to calculate those you will you can use option calculator so you can basically convert your entire technical analysis based trade to a option trade by using the calculator you can also use to identify whether there is a discrepancy in the fair value of the price which is the theoretical price which is supposed to be based on the option calculator or in the real price of the ICIC bank so this may also give you some opportunity like if the price is higher than the fair value it may give you a chance to option selling or prices lower than the fair value it may give you a chance to give a good entry in that option price so there are many uses now let's us jump into a real scenario and then see how does this option calculator works so for this we'll go for a demo since we are talking about ICICI bank let's see the ICICI bank so we are talking about 400 CE right so we are thinking about buying 400C and our target is 407 and our entry is 382 let's say on Monday I want to entry so what I'll do is let's find so this is the interface of the option calculator okay so you will have some fields like this area and then based on that you have a button called calculate so if you input give the input and then calculate then you get the price so the inputs what it actually be it will be different based on the calculator so this is a tool called Quonsap which is a website and they also have an app but there are some other calculator as well which will have similar inputs which you will need to fill up so if I go to the other step you will see some of the generic input that you may need to find so you may need to give the dividend yield of the script the underlying stock the interest rate of the treasury bill that I mentioned earlier and what is the, your current premium what is strike and what is the spot price so using this inputs you can also calculate but here I have some fewer input and I automatically get some of the data so as I mentioned I'll need some input right so I, I, I need what is the symbol so I'll use the symbol as ICICA bank and here is option to automatically get what is the current price so if I click on fetch it will give me the current future price and this is calculating based on the current future price now what is the expiry I'll calculating to I am calculating for 30th July this monthly expiry and then strikes is my 400 and the evaluation date I'll looking for Monday which will be 27th so I'll select I'm 27th of July uh, so what will be the volatility so volatility is two way to get it for if you are using this tool if you just go to the implied volatility tab if you click on this implied volatility and if you already selected all these things and it automatically get the last price traded price if you just do calculate it will give you what will be the volatility of the call so if you just copy this and move to price tab again and paste the volatility here so you are basically getting the same price so in implied volatility calculate so this is the 8.4 rupees price of was the last price but if I go to price tab and paste the same volatility but I change the evaluation date to 27 July so what will be the price it gives the price on Monday will be 5 rupees so there is because of the time decay or the theta decay because of this there will be uh, price premium will be reduced on Monday so as you can see just not the price or volatility this also the option calculator also gives the option Greeks this Delta Theta Vega Gamma and Rho so we are not going to cover what are these if you already have a knowledge so you will understand but otherwise uh, we will look for another session to explain those 
Okay, so back to option calculator. We are calculating on Monday trade, right? So if I want to trade um, 382, I want an entry in 382, and my target is 407, and my stop loss is here. Let's say. Three seventy. Let's say three six seventy is my. Uh, three sixty nine is my stop loss, and three eighty two my entry four zero. So I'll calculate what will be the trade in options. So the date is Monday. Volatility is this. Strike is this, and I'll select the future price as three eighty two point five. Let's say three six nine. So this is my stop loss, and I'll do calculate. So 2.30 rupees is my stop loss as per the technical level. Okay, so that that is that means I'll. So if I want to buy 400 CE, my stop loss is 2.3 rupees. And what will be my entry? Let's make it 382. So my theoretical entry will be 5.2. And then. What is my target? 407. 407. So my target is 16.29. So let's say target is 16. So as you can see, I can I just simply converted this technical chart level to an option level just using the option calculator itself. So this is one usage of your using option calculator. There are other uses. Let's say you want to do positional trade and you want to see what will be the price on 29 just before day before expiry if you are holding this. So I'll just select the evaluation date field to 29th of July. And then what if the target price comes on 29th of July? So if I do calculate and see the price comes around 11 rupees. So my entry was 5 point rows. So on 29th of July, price is equal to 11 rupees. So even if it's the target reach on 29th July, I'll still be profitable because I can see based on the option calculator. So this is only again a theoretical price. So there may be, and it's based on this future price. The calculation is based on future price. So there is some epsilon and difference that will be there which means the future price is 407 so it could mean that spot price may go to 405 where the future price is 407 so in that case also your target will be reached but let's say spot is 409 when future price is 407 so so there can be a small variance keep that in mind so th that is based on the future price and also based on the actual traded value now sometimes we are here, we are calculating the vol implied volatility based on the last premium that was uh, for the script, right? So we calculated that premium, then copy pasted this and put this uh, volatility here. There is another way if the calculator does not support calculating the volatility itself, if it's a generic uh, calculator, then you can just go to this option chain of ICIC bank and then go to 400 CE so that is 400 and call option and under this IV you can find what is the IV of this 400 strike call and you can copy that and put it here so that way also you can get a implied volatility or volatility person used in this calculator so that way also you can get a rough idea what would be the actual fair value or theoretical value of the option contract. Okay, so this way you can use the option calculator. Okay, so option calculated can be useful that I have shown you that if you use the technical levels you can convert it to option trade and according to your appetite you can put a stop loss or target depending on your so you can basically connect your technical analysis to a option trade right so you can also calculate whether current trade of certain option strike is trading in a fair value or is it trading higher and lower than the theoretical value that it's supposed to be 
so that way the option calculator is useful but if you are someone who is still lacks the basic knowledge of options you will still need to learn about options and even if you don't know the technicals you will need to learn about technicals to choose what is the correct level that you should entry to choose what is the correct strike price you will choose and correct strategy you will use for the option trading so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to stay updated for more learning videos in upcoming days thank you and take care